What's up guys? It's me, your badass host, Trevor, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Okay, so it is finally time for us to move on right here because, well, in our last episode, we went through Mega Evolution. And now we gotta, you know, dominate the Kalos region just because, you know, we can. So, in our last episode, not only did we get, uh, you know, our Mega Stone, but we also got the HMO3 for Surf. And uh, if you talk to this lady, she's going to be like, Pokemon send in Pokeball each... In okay, so she's talking in German. Now, here's something funny that I found in uh, on my phone. So, I'm looking at this right now. I am looking at this saying right now, and it, obviously, it's in German. I am going to go to the translate, the translate button right here. And we're going to be taking a camera, taking a look at this. And what does she say? She says, Pokemon... Oh, wow, this is not German. Oh, wait, hold on. That's Chinese. Never mind. So, from what she says is, Pokemon are in uh, the Pokeball. I'm sitting on the chair. Oh, okay. That's what, uh, that's what she says. Okay, never mind. Let's go ahead and move on and talk to this person. You know what? The Skiddo and the Ranch are surprisingly comfortable to ride. Oh, yeah, we're going to get there. This is fun. Okay. So here we are, guys, in Route 12, Forage Road. Now, if you go ahead and talk to this individual, he's like, this kind of Lapras here once saved me from drowning. I feel bad, though. I can't afford to travel around and show it, uh, show the wide world beyond these parts. Hey, I've got an idea. You've got the Rumble Badge. You must be strong and seasoned tra uh, traveler. Would you mind taking Lapras with you on your journey? Sure, I'll take Lapras. And there it is, guys. We got ourselves another good Pokemon. And this Pokemon, yes, we are going to be giving it the nickname that we always give it. I bequeath to you the name Nessie. Because, uh, well, Nessie after the Loch Ness Monster and all that stuff. Okay, so we got that Pokemon. And, uh... Well, we're not going to be needing Nessie. Like I said before, we're going to be using Kalos specific Pokemon. I do have an idea of what other Pokemon I, I kind of want to use for this game. As you guys already know, I don't have a water type Pokemon just yet. And luckily for us, you know, Zigzagoon. Actually, you know what? I don't need to teach Zigzagoon anything. Let's just go ahead and teach uh, Nessie. And to my surprise, I did not know that my uh, my go goat or whatever the kid or you know what, let's go ahead and, and call it Jordan the goat. I didn't know that it can learn uh, what was it called, uh, surf attack. So that right there could be something of good use. Okay, so let's go right ahead and continue on right here. Now in this area, you're going to be finding some pretty rare Pokemon: Tauros, Miltank, uh, Mareep, hell, Pachirisu right here. I would say, I would say, go ahead and try and capture many of these Pokemon as you can, because some of them are Pokemon that you probably would want. Now, we're going to be going straight towards this area, and we're going to be finding ourselves a honey. Yes, the honey right here will enable, uh, we'll be able to, oh, we'll allow you to get hordes, and as many of you guys already know, hordes kind of minimize the whole, uh, shiny Pokemon thing. And look, oh, we found a shiny Pokemon! Oh! We found a shiny! We found a shiny Wingle! Oh my god, okay. Okay. This is the second time that we've found a shiny Pokemon. Holy buckets! So, we're gonna eliminate everybody else. We do not want to eliminate the, the shiny Wingle. Oh my god. Okay. Alrighty. And Zigzagoon is, uh, has grown to level and I am not gonna teach it anything. Okay. All right, go ahead. The Shiny Wingle hits us with the Water Gun. Now, as you guys already know, we can't capture any Pokemon in a horde unless it's a single Pokemon. So, yeah, look at this. We got a Shiny Wingle, guys. Oh, my God. Shiny Wingle. Okay, go ahead. I don't care. Go ahead. All righty. A Shiny Wingle. Okay, here we go. Come on. Don't hurt yourself. Here goes the Psy Shock. And there goes the average Wingle. There you go. Okay. And who is next? Okay, Supersonic, 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 and Growl. Oh my god, we found it. Okay. Here we go again. And let's go to the middle one. And here comes a very, very good Psy Shock. Alrighty. 
We are chopping them down. Go ahead. I don't care. Try and confuse me. And yes, we have avoided any kind of uh, confusion right here. We are going to capture this Pokemon. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. I'm just making sure which Wingle it is. And there you go. It is now down to me and the shiny Wingle. Alrighty, go ahead. I don't care. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Alright. Let's go. Bag, Pokeballs. And we have plenty of Pokeballs. Yes! Let's go with a Great Ball right here. Okay. So, we're throwing the Great Ball. There's one. Stay in there! And three. Yes, sir! We got a shiny wingle. We found a freaking shiny wingle, guys. Oh my god. Okay, sharp tooth, grab some points and all that stuff. Let's go ahead and uh, get the Pokedex entry right here. Not really, but here it is, guys. A shiny wingle. I am going to be naming this Pokemon after something else, but yes. Expect this to be on the reels. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, so here we are. Shiny Sea Blade. Oh my god, look at this Pokemon. We got a shiny Pokemon, guys. We have a shiny god dang Pokemon right here in Pokemon Y. Okay, so it's a quirky nature. It is a shiny Sea Blade. Obviously, we couldn't fit uh, everything, like the name and everything. But yes, there it is, shiny Sea Blade. I'll be right back with you guys for the continuation of this whole thing right here. Oh, and by the way, look at this. The Rain Dish ability, you know, the Pokemon gradually regains HP in the rain. Yeah, I... I should use this Pokemon, but I'm not. I'll be right back, guys. Alrighty, so here we are, guys, back, and uh, we're, we're going to be using a Repel right here because we really don't need to get, uh, well, we really don't need to get bugged by any of the Pokemon right here. Like I said before, if you uh, take on Hordes, you will probably find yourself a, uh, a shiny Pokemon every so often. Kind of like what, I, what just happened right here, so yeah, buddy. I feel, I feel very lucky. Now, make sure to have a Pokemon with Cut because you will be able to find a few spots. One being this, finding the Aspir Berry. Or the Aspir Berry. Whatever it is. And uh, let's see. We're going to be going down here. And, well, there are some spots around here that we can actually go to. Let's go ahead and not fish first. Let's see what this guy is all about right here. I, I, I clicked on that too quickly. Azure Bay! Everything, including life, comes in from the Great Ocean. Hmm. Yeah, don't say. Okay, so we're going to be moving on forward. We're going to be surfing for the first time right here, guys. And uh, look at this. If you have a Lapras, yes, you will have the animation of Lapras, which is fantastic. Just fantastic. Does that remind you of somebody? It does. Let's go ahead and start battling some Pokemon trainers. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go. It's time to do it, but to do it, and here we go. Take it on Alessandro. Coming out with a Quillfish. I may have picked uh, the wrong Pokemon, but here we are. The Goat Michael Jordan right here, ready to go. And, uh, well, we got Buldo, so that, that should work. Yes, it does work. Look at that. Okay. And it lowers its speed. And here comes a Stockpile. So this one will increase, I believe, its physical defense, right? Yes. Oh. Both defenses. So, here we go. Bulldoze yet again. And just like that, Quillfish has been defeated. Alrighty. Okay. And, well, Zigzagoon mooching off the points that we're giving it. And here comes Binacle. I'm going to continue right here. Alright. Binacle. Looking like a rock and a water type Pokemon. Let's go with the Sea Bomb. And that... Takes care of Binacle right away. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. So that's more points for us right there. And Alessandro has been defeated. Okay. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and continue on right here. Let's see. The sea is as shiny as can be. And I kind of want to look at everything before we get off Lapras. And it looks like we have seen everything. And yes, let's go ahead and use another Repel because we do not need any more interference. So let's go ahead and continue on our little battles right here with this guy. I grew tired of the city life and decided to wander the world. I'm not aiming for anywhere in particular. That is actually a good 
That is a well, that's a very good goal right there. So here we go, taking on backpacker Joran. And he's coming out with a Lanoon. Lanoon. Alright. The GOAT, Michael Jordan, ready to go. The GOAT, Seed Bomb, and oh wow. Okay, so that, that right there is not going to do much. So here we go. Seed Bomb for the win. Nearly for the win. Let's go Strength Attack. And, uh, well, yeah, we're going to get blinded right here. Or the electricity has gone down just a little bit. So here we go. Strength Attack finishes off the noon. And, uh... Yeah, that's a victory for our Pokemon right there. Getting some more points. And, well, of course, Zigzagoon mooching off points right here. We are not going to teach him anything because, well, why should we? But there you go. Another victory for us. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, continue on our little adventure. There should be another area right here. Okay, so I see it. Where you're, you're going to need cut. That's going to go right here, and yes, yeah, so you're going to be needing cut for this particular section. And there you go, cut. And if we go right here, we found ourselves some leftovers. That will come useful for any one of our Pokemon when we're battling, because yeah, we do love taking a lot of damage. And well, if we go right here, guys, you're going to find yourself the Badermont, or the Bardo, <laughs> the Barmar Ranch. I can't even pronounce that correctly. And we're not going to be using a repel right now because this place right here is very unique. If you go ahead and talk to these people. I love Skittles so much, I feel like I've been hit with an attract move. Here, take this TM so you can see how I feel. And there you go. We got ourselves TM45 attract. A very good move. When a Pokemon is under the effects of attract, its chances, uh, or it, its chances of fa failing an attack against a Pokemon of the opposite gender goes way up. Okay. And if you talk to the big guy right here, you can't pick items up from the ground while on the back of a Skiddo. <laughs> so for the uh, be poor manners after all. How is it poor manners? I don't, I want to know. If you guys know, please let me know. How is that poor manners? Now this is exactly what he's talking about. Now if you see yourself with a Skiddo who's uh, standing up, you can get on top of this little sucker and then start just going around. Look at this. Woo! Look at that. All right, and it gets to hop over the ledges and all that stuff. Okay, now if you press the A or the B button, you will be able to grab yourself a shiny stone. This is an evolutionary stone for a Pokemon. I believe like Ralts, I think. All right, let's get back on our little goat right here. Look at this. There we go. Oh, my God. All righty. Let's go here. Man, and these Pokemon are fast. They are very, very fast. And if we go right here... Get off this guy, you're going to be able to find yourself another item, and that right there is a Whip Dream. For those who don't know, Whip Dream is an item that, they, well, it's a held item for a Pokemon, a specific Pokemon to evolve it. And if we go right here, look at this, bam, not right there, hold on. If you see that ledge, you can just run out. Now, there are going to be some trainers right here that you won't be, won't battle you. They won't battle you at all if you're on the, on the Skiddo. And I don't think you're going to be able to battle any Pokemon right here, but look at that. Oh, yes, we're having a lot of fun. So we got to return this guy. <laughs> we got to return this guy back to the wild right here. So let's see. I think we have to go all the way back. Let's see. There we go. Come on. And bam. Okay. See that? Very fun ride right there. Okay. So, that was our little fun right there. Now, it is finally time for us for, you know, more Pokemon battles and maybe, just maybe, find ourselves another shiny Pokemon. And look at that. We found ourselves a Pachirisu, which is also cool, but we want none of it. Pachirisu, a Pikachu clone car or carbon copy or something like that. Let's go right ahead and move on ahead right here. Battle this lady. You're about to find out just how strong my family is. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Are they stronger than me? And, well, we're going to be taking on Amala right here. And look at this. We're going to be taking on Seviper. And, man, I do love the horns on Jordan right here. So let's go. Bulldoze attack. Finish this Pokemon off. And, wow. Well, the only thing we can do is just lower the speed right here. So here comes a Glare attack, which, yes, paralyzes us. And hopefully we can hit this Pokemon one more time. 
And that right there is going to harsh, harsh our stuff. And, well, so Viper has been defeated. Okay, all righty. And just like that, Jordan the Goat has grown to level 33 right there. And, well, of course, it's exactly, you know, mooching. And here comes a Miltank. So we're going to be switching up right here. Let's go right ahead and give Sharptooth a little bit of love. Okay, it's been a while. Let's go, Sharptooth. You're looking uh, pretty tiny. It is daytime. Let's go ahead and finish this mill tank off right here. Let's go with a bite attack. Since, uh, yeah, your effect kind of uh, helps us right here. And that right there is uh, going to hit us a little bit. But look at that. The Rocky Helmet hits it. And here comes a bite attack. Not as strong as what we thought. Let's go, Dragon Tail. And here comes Body Slam. Oh, my God. Not effective. Doesn't paralyze us. And, yes, you're getting hurt by a Rocky Helmet right there. And there it is. Another uh, another Dragon Tail right here. So here we go. Bite Attack. Yeah, this, this Mill Tank is not letting me live right now. But I'm not letting it breathe either. Rocky Helmet. And just like that. Mill Tank defeated. Alrighty. Okay. And Zigzagoon yet again mooching off. Okay, so yes, I am strong. I am strong like Ox. Okay, so again, we're gonna need some uh, some repels. And uh, well, let's see. Paralysis heal. You gotta love that. And you know, give him uh, give a super potion here and there. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch out to Star Fox right here because well, Star Fox needs a little love. Not that. Okay, here we go. Star Fox. There we go. And let's move on to the next area right here, which we will be battling another trainer. This guy. My swarm of bug Pokemon is in a tip-top shape and buzzing for a battle. Ah. Okay. Alrighty. So, here we go. Taking on Youngster Aiden, and he is coming out with a Yanma. This Pokemon right here is very, very fast, but we are faster. And, uh... Well, a Mystical Fire should do. And, oh crud. Seriously? Detect? And there goes that speed boost. So, we're now officially slower than Yanma, I believe. Not really. But here comes a Mystical Fire. And just like that, Yanma has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. And, well, let's see. Whirlipede is going to come out. Let's continue on our, our little... Uh, a little battle right here, Whirlipede, looking pretty tanky, but here comes the Mystical Fire, and uh, seriously, yeah, it's going to be protecting itself, got to love Detect and, and uh, Protect, and uh, again, so that minimizes it for the next turn, okay, let's try it one more time, Mystical Fire for the win, <laughs> and excuse me, there you go. And, uh, well, <laughs> Blade grows to level 33. And here comes Motham. So we're just going to continue on with this. All right, Motham, how's it going? Looking pretty, uh, mothy. But here comes the Mystical Fire for the win. And Motham has been defeated. All righty. Okay. And just like that, Star Fox grows to level 39. And, well, Sharptooth grows to level 33. Zigzagoon mooching levels right there and uh, well just like that we have defeated another trainer and uh, well let's go ahead and continue our adventure I think we have one more to go yes it's this guy right here I like to bury my face in the fur of the Tauros neck and take a long a big whiff of its scent it's a jinx for a battle I hear huh it's kind of like smelling of somebody else's farts you are sick Okay, so here we go, taking on a Pokemon breeder. His name is Foster, and, well, he's going to be coming out with a Zigzagoon. Or not a Zigzagoon, a Zangoose, I should say. Okay. Let's go with a Psyshock. And from there, that takes care of Zangoose. Look at you, look at you. So there's guys, there we go with some more points. Nessie grows to level 31 without doing anything, and here comes Tauros, a very, very strong Pokemon. And, uh, well, here comes Intimidate. So now, physical attacks have gotten a little bit weaker. 
So, let's go, Psyshock, for the win. And, well, Taros has no chance. None. And just like that, we get some more points. And Zigzagoon grows to level 17 and is learning Odor Sleuth, which we are not going to be using because, well, we don't need a lot or anything. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. So that's another victory for us right there. And, uh, well, let us move on. So if you guys can see... Azure Bay is going to be that way, which we will be covering in the next episode. And here we are in Comarine City, and we're going to get a Holoclip uh, message, as you guys can tell. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Serena. Oh my god. Draven, I challenge you to a battle in front of the gym. Prepare yourself. Whatever you say, baby. Yeah, I'm down to battle this chick, okay? Okay, alrighty, so just a few things. We are going to be going into the, what was it called? Uh, what was the name of that place? Yeah, we're going to be going to Azure Bay. So in the next episode, we're going to be taking small tours and everything else right here, guys. Uh, let's see, we got no repair or no repels and all that stuff. We're going to be going into this section and we're going to be taking a break over at the pokemon center because we need to find our pokemon and well before you go into the train station you're going to be finding this guy and that chick why hello draven congratulations i see you finally obtained everything you need for mega evolution and mega stone for uh, the pokemon and mega ring for the trainer a strong bond between you and your pokemon a strong bond it's only a hypothesis but i think the bond between a pokemon and trainer is the key to a new evolution but what is the bond exactly? And why are these examples of the Mega Evolution only in the Kalos region? There is still much we don't know. Does this make you think of something like Kalos Legendary Pokemon? Not only in the Kalos region, right? Nowhere else, maybe it's not a coincidence. Oh, what an excellent point indeed. The more you know, the more there is to research. The excitement never ends, does it? Not really. Oh, that's right, I came here to give you this. And from there, we get ourselves the HMO2 Fly, which, well, it's going to be very beneficial to us. Use the HMO fly, uh, HM Fly to pop right over the Pokemon centers of the places you've already visited. Well then, Draven. Tiantha, I hope to see you both again soon. Oh, okay, all right. Bonds. They really are important to us uh, all, are important to us all, aren't they? When I'm acting, I think I'm always trying to forge a bond between myself and the character I'm playing. If all I think about is how I'm nothing like the character, then I'll just hate playing it. But if I focus on what I have in common with the character and put myself in her shoes, I might be able to understand her. It's the same for Pokemon and people. Oh, never mind me. I'm just babbling about my own things. Let's have a battle next time we meet, shall we? I'm still looking forward to it. Okay, whatever you say. All right, so we're going to be going up to the train, to the monorail, and we're going to be going straight to the Pokemon Center because in the next episode, we're going to be doing things a little differently, you know, going to, you know, Azure Bay, then taking a tour of this place and doing stuff, you know, a lot of stuff, talking to people and all that crud, you know, the whole fun, the whole fun thing. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient as always. I will see you guys in the next episode as we continue our adventure right here in Pokemon Y. See you guys.